So with that and we have a new area over there that can be painted over like it has school or paint yeah paint on it. But we're not gonna go there. We're just gonna go into Beyond Go Hills until we can't do any more. <laughs> okay, so now on to the third mission. Mission which is the hillside cave. It which actually introduces something that we're gonna be seeing quite a bit throughout here. Uh, quite a good amount, amount of throughout the game. And look, like, this guy needs to get clean. Let's clean him up. Looks like, okay, okay, we'll go up there. What do you have a lot to say? Okay, there. <laughs> Uh, so you gotta get up to the cave. And then, how exactly are we gonna get up there? Yeah, we can either go that way, way in mid, or go up without wall, brick wall thing up there. You know, to get up there. We're going this way because it's a little quicker. <laughs> so, we're gonna get going here. And May seem a little bit, my commentary is a little bit mad, it's kind of like, kind of a little rusty, kind of take a, came back from a slight, but small break from recording, uh, from not recording, yeah, I should say. And, so that's kind of why. Come on, get up there. Okay. And get up there and, and it's like once I get enough height there up there I can't. Hold on, I can do this. I was supposed to wall jump and not do that. <laughs> okay, try it again. Let me get full water first. And that's how it's done. I could have also sprayed that thing to get up here. Yeah, but yeah, do oh wow. Well. We made it up here and let's go into the cave. And the perpetrator takes flood from us, but no. It's actually called Shadow Mario you know, in the game, so we're gonna be calling it so that's what we're gonna be calling him and yeah. It's classic Mario music of people just doing get a little tunes onto it. And he went, well, darn it, it wouldn't let me jump. And fell to our death. Mm -hmm. We don't have to die anymore because, well, say it like it's the last, we have one more life, but no. We got another life left, left to do. Ooh. Darn it. <laughs> I still get a game over on this, that would kind of suck, but yeah, there's quite a lot of these levels like this in the game. And so, I'm gonna get used to them, and I do like it in the background of this place, like, you can see like a fan drawn train going on, you know, it's playing there. You know, and I right one over there. It's quite cool. <laughs> but, yeah, no flood, <laughs> here it's kind of... Darn it, uh... I guess I'm also a little rusty on this game here as well because last time I played this game was almost two years ago when yeah when the when 3D All Stars came out so uh, I may be a little rusty there <laughs> there made it past that part and we didn't the rest should be Easy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, darn it. Well, there was our first game over. <laughs> but hey, at least I got the shoulder screen off. Which uh, kind of rubs it in without that. But <clears throat> and yeah, no, the only way it wouldn't really 
Fortunately, we gotta go back to that to that stage now and, and redo it. Which, it's also a good thing I did save and collected those blue coins. Coins because because yeah, if I didn't save, I would have had to redo do some stuff stuff we already done. And because yeah, like I know speedrunners for this game, they it's faster to not click save and continue. It's just faster to just say con select continue. You you let yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Why? Why? But to me, yeah. The, but it does come at a risk to where we're at. Which well, the risk is you're getting risk of losing all your progress and getting it and getting a game over. So it makes makes the game over is much more more punishing. And so okay, now it's, I'm trying to like lure this guy closer to the water here. Here, so. I'm trying to jump on you and look how high up we jumped. It's crazy how high that jump is. And we're back in here. Can't skip that, unfortunately. And we're back here, like almost like a, like nothing happened. Didn't. Definitely, I'm gonna have to get, try to get some more lives, but yeah, come on. <laughs> I do like that though. How if you fall from a high place long enough, Mario would start screaming, I mean like that, which <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. And so, wait, mm -hmm. if I'm having this much trouble already on the first one, and then I'm in for a heck of a hell of a ride here. Right throughout all these. It, but, it could be a spell trouble here. It could also be because I'm doing the control, since I'm doing this in the 3D All Stars version, the s controllers are, are a little bit different from the GameCube one, so that could also be one thing that's throwing me off about this, but hey, at least. At least we cleared that this time. <laughs> and, yeah, another thing too I haven't mentioned yet. Which, yeah, which I don't know if anyone one's noticed, but but the more shine spikes you collect, the bigger the uh, circle of light <laughs> or sunlight gets. Because before it wasn't light, so or that light circle wasn't like that. Before it didn't even reach the top of that building. Maybe it was right at the top of the building. But I can't remember. And yeah, you're probably thinking to yourself, why am I going back in this stage? Didn't we already? I already cleared it. It's true, but I'm actually going back in here because there was a secret shine sprite in this stage. And it's in that same area where we're gonna where we're at before. Boy, wait. And because that's where the secret shine sprite is. Is that? Yeah. So in each one of those floodless missions will have one, a secret shine in them. Um. So we're gonna be basically that means we're gonna be doing each one twice. Okay, so only even more more depending on how many tries it takes to actually. Get in to do one. And there. No, I tried to do. I was actually ready for it that time. Alright, but. Hmm. That. Oh, it's not here. Not sure where that fit blue thing was that launched me so high. I went. There we go, <laughs> made it up. Didn't even need it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice about when you go back and replay these things. You actually keep flooding this time. Wrong button. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing that quite a bit. So yeah, that red thing wasn't there before. And so what we have to do now is collect eight red coins. 
or we did it in a time limit to, to get a bonus shine sprite. Alright, so, again, just get used to seeing red, eight red coin missions because there's a lot in the game. And in fact, that will be the next mission. And just hit eight red coins, and not in a level like this. So we'll just be in the, like the actual area itself. Oh, hmm. Oh, hmm. Oh, God. I'm peeing. <laughs> That's what it looks like there. But I do like how the water even shows the map boundaries on where the death zone would be. I'm going to keep doing that whole bunch. And, uh, but yeah, and definitely is nice that we have blood back here with, uh, in this area here with make which can make these navigating these much easier who you know if you like get far you could save yourself as long as you're quick enough to uh, react to it mm -hmm. And, yeah, spin jump. That really, spin jump really does help. It's definitely one of the probably most jumps you're gonna be seeing me do throughout here, because you get a good amount of height from it and keeps you in the air quite a bit. <laughs> and that will, so shine weight will be collected, and you now it's gonna get to it without falling is the last challenge. Again, it's nice that the time limit would actually. Stay pauses as soon as you collect the eighth coin. And yeah, you also like a one up, also be getting your water. And that's nice too. <laughs> so now we actually do that fourth mission. And so let's go back in there, facing backwards, and back in we go. Oh, hmm. Yeah, this one's called Red Coins in the Windmill, so yeah, this is what I was saying before. Well, we actually have Red Coins in the AL, yeah, this time to collect. Which, some ones aren't as bad as the ones in those Floodless missions. Because. You don't have to make your way towards the well, that well where the area, oh, yeah, where the red coins would be, is what I'm saying. And because you were like directly at that area where they could be, and hmm, whatever this could be, and got no blue coin, and you may notice there's some sort of like wind enemy there, which. For some reason want to attack you because them don't know why, but eh. Anyways, I guess we just need some enemy around here to, to attack to attack us. Spray that X for a blue coin on the other side of the wall. Thankfully it's just right here. Here's the no. I don't think I could have just wait to get the coins, little coins later, but eh, I'll do them now. And plus, well, that's the only reason why I want to do them gradually alongside, as like a side task about these is that, yeah, not all blue coins can be found in the same mission. Some can be found in the first one, some can be found in the second one, some can be found in all, some can only be found in a few of them. And so, that's why, kind of why, why I'm doing them, also doing them as well, alongside the actual mission itself. Oof. Oh, but yeah, like it was the only one over there. Oh, wait. I know for sure this one's up in every mission. Oh my god, gonna keep doing that so much throughout this. It's a why to go down. You uh, jump over there. Yeah, so got collect the best of the red coins here and Hmm. 
actually, yeah, there's just one more blue coin cut or two that I know of because there's one in here. Logically, I don't need to save and continue after each one, but hmm, I do it anyway. Decent. When you see like a capsule, like blood capsule, like this, that eh, that means you can't access it yet because because like it's seafood, but ones like these you can reaccess for stuff. Then, hmm. Yeah, you may notice that it was a symbol on there, which. Wondering what that symbol is? It's an Egan symbol. So, implying that Egan may flood. Oh, that here would. It's cool, but. Problem is that we don't get flood at, at all anymore in the games aside from Smash Bros. Oh, that was good. That's where we get all your appearances we see flood. Oh, what? Kinda, it's kind of sad because that this is the only uh, standalone Mario game he's in, and but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Mm. Ouch! <laughs> Freaking wind! <laughs> kind of makes me wait, makes me feel the same way about wind sometimes because what. Because sometimes the wind can just get me in the way of pushing, especially when you're outside setting up like a table or something, thing, and the wind just blows your stuff away. Mm. Anyway, but, yeah, this thing's kind of cool where you actually spray water and spins around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually you do have, yeah, the water will then stop coming out flooding, you have to. God damn it! But <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Um, yeah, but, so yeah, at least I can kind of save myself. We're gonna get back up here easily. Yeah, I just need to find the eighth coin. Just so happens to be there, and a blue coin at the same time. Hmm. Mm. I guess coming to think of it, how I'm gonna handle these blue coins is I'll just gather all of them up at once and then. And then once I get all of them throughout the whole game, that's when I'll. God damn it. <laughs> and that's when I'll use all of them. Dude, I just can't seem to easily get up here that easily. And the wind is back. Like, there's no way to attack it, unfortunately. So, kind of left with that, how it is. Yeah, there we go. I might as well grab some more water, too, since I'm going downhill. Yeah, there. there was another blue coin up on a ledge up there, but yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get up there all that easily. Yeah, there we go. Made it up here and shoot. And so there. Now I just gotta go across this tight globe, which I guess in some instances it could be a power line or something. Or like, I think, but, hmm. Hmm, but, you know, that was it, but, yeah. That's. Shine Mario 6. And then, I guess we'll do one more mission and then we'll call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's we'll jump on in. Zoom. And do the last, our last mission here, which is BD Blana Strikes Back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the only difference is he's in a different spot this time. Sleeping, eating very sound and calmly over there, which, which, which honestly is a better spot than where he was before on top of the windmill. Uh, except he made, made goo all over the place with him on. He just wanted to live his life just peacefully sleeping up there. What's wrong with that? <laughs> but yeah, we need to get... But anyway, you just gotta get up there and beat him down again, which is kind of the same as before, but it's a little harder this time. 
Alright, so spray a bunch of water here. Pew, 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 pew. We're going to clean up most of this area. Oh, you can't wall jump that. Boom. Yeah, actually, I guess I can show you this. Sliding on the goo heel, but if you do be stand on it too long, you take damage. But you get you do get covered in goo when making trails along for it, which is pretty funny. But just doing spin jumps or going in water gets it, the goo off. Yeah, and... Oh, come on. I should have just waited there. <laughs> Actually, can, can I make it up there easy when you have a triple jump? No, it's too high up. Alright, I'll do it again here, but this time I... Son of a gun. Now I'm kind of cozying a little bit about this, but eh, whatever. It's probably for the best anyway, because the cult whipping thing. I think that was added a few years ago. Oh wait. Hmm. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Finally you got that right this time. And, okay now, in order to wake up Peter Piranha, you have to get grab one of those things. I'm not sure what these things are called. Spray water into them and then... Launch it at him. And lower that a little bit. And you can't die by jumping off here, so watch out for that. And yeah, he's now flying. And he's the, and that's something we gotta deal with now. And giant red M here went. Oh, God. Mm hmm. Get some more water. <laughs> and okay, slowly see the goo coming off. Like that and <laughs> clean up some areas of the uh let do it. If you wanted to, you could actually take out all clean up the whole place and then fight PD Piranha, but eh, I don't, I don't really think it's necessary. And we'll, now we need to find him. He's yeah, here. He is, and what he's gonna do is gonna be in a certain, just fly in place in a certain place and make a certain sound effect signifying that. And when you do that, that uh, yeah, you have to you know, spray water in him, and then he falls. And he has a new move where he can spin around for a tornado, create a create like a little tornado thing. English. <laughs> yeah, it can just send you flying. It doesn't actually damage you or anything. <laughs> but, hmm, that's uh, pretty much the only other new thing he does. And also, there's. Uh, the arrow's not a butt on the pointing over his belly button. This thing is. Because of. Yeah, it does make sense. And get, seeing how. I missed him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you think the fall would hurt him more than getting about his belly buttons where Yeah, it's because of this gooey thing here. You know, Act man. He will eventually take back off if you don't hit him. Or, or spray water into him. Like if he pukes, then then that uh, And yeah, he'll just uh, fly back up. Not sure what it takes to get him to trigger it though. Water there, but yeah. Just dump it up. I don't always say when he's flying, when he's pretty bad, it's kind of hilarious seeing that. I'm gonna be keep doing that a whole bunch about this. Just one. Got one more to do. <laughs> yeah, you were fly, flying in a circle throughout. For the most part, throughout this area, 
in the town height. Alright. Alright, and it doesn't have a drop shadow, so, so if you're looking for him, you just go here. And he will have these certain spots where he will land. And as well. <laughs> you have a drink. Uh, you're gonna need one during the summer. Oh my god. Uh, every ground ground, I'm just gonna do that. Accidentally open the map and <clears throat> have him do that. And we're out of water. And interesting how it makes a duck noise whenever you. Uh, noise whenever you try to shoot water when it's empty. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, it doesn't really matter now because we it instantly gets refilled after we collect the shine. And there we go. We that we the last one here for now. So, yeah, yeah, we did it. We got that'll be if it is up. So here we. We started this left way off and see how well we can go far we can keep going on here. Yeah, so that'll be it for this episode. So next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we should hopefully finish up head up Bianco Hills and go on to the next area here, which will be over there for that painted. So I'll see you all next time.